There you go, guys. We're just about ready to, to um, prime, or, well, itch, well, epoxy prime the guards and the doors and all that sort of stuff. Um, just been doing a bit of filling, the filling on the bottoms of these back guards, trying to get the get them smoothed out. Now, I'll just give you a little tip. If you're using that CRC rust cool, um, I had sprayed it along the uh, where I'd repaired. You know where I welded and everything because it was it was getting a little bit of a little bit of surface rust in there. I know I cleaned the worst of it off and I'd just sprayed a bit of stuff, a bit of rust kill on there at, at you know at an earlier stage and then I'd epoxied and everything all over top and then I'd now I gave it a, a bit of a scuff back before I put any filler on it and um, I think I got a you know my first layer of filler on and shaped it and then I put a little bit more on just to. You know, it was a wee, wee bit low and bits and pieces like that. And um, I'd sanded that back off again. And I'd gone along with the um, air gun to blow the, any other, you know, dust and just check for other, any other holes and whatever. And uh, a bit of bog flicked off where it, along the um, seam where I'd welded where that rust kill was sitting. So um, I'm glad it happened now. And not a uh, not a paint stage from driving down the road, <laughs> but so yeah, I ground all the the bog back out where I had it all welded and we had all that black rust kill in there. So um, I don't think I'll use that again, like where I'm going to be um, prepping any surface. Like it's probably yeah, you know, it's fine. Like on the inside, you know, we're repaired and you're trying to stop rust and stuff like that. But um. I don't think I'll use it on the outside of a panel again unless I sand it off um, before I get into any sort of priming or filling or anything like that again. Um, that's a, sort of a probably a bit of a cheap cheap lesson at this stage, I suppose. Um, it could have been a very expensive lesson if I'd got it all painted. But um, so what I've been using instead, um, I've been painting some some truck chassis and stuff and bits and pieces at work and we've got some stuff called rust gobbler which you basically spray on and um and then you can prime over top um i'm gonna i'm gonna scuff it anyway i, I just i stripped all the paint and everything off these because they're sort of so sort of so stone chipped and everything i tore the paint right off the tops of the, the bonnet and the, and the bootlet at this stage um and i've sprayed They've just rust gobbler stuff over it. Um, it's basically it's product, and you, you just thin it out with a bit of meth, so or you can get a special thinners for it. But um, it's industrial stuff that you use on truck chassis and stuff all the time. So at least I know what it does. So I flicked a bit of that over it um, last night, and before I, I want to try and get some primer on the rest of this, rest of these panels today, um, or at least some some epoxy, and then. And whatever so I'll give it a scuff back I'll give it a light scuff back with some with some 80 just to make sure it's not too smooth or anything like that um, you can normally actually just spray it on and then within about an hour just spray straight over top but um I even sort of I didn't want to leave it just the bare surface just with it still cool enough in here at night so I just didn't want any moisture in the air to start rusting so I, I flipped it over last night before we before we finished up so it's been on the oh probably 10 hours 12 hours now i suppose so i'll just give it a, a light scuff before i do flick any prime you know sort of primers or anything over it but at least i know it doesn't well i, I know it shouldn't do what that did with the um with the crc rascal stuff that you know it's one of those sort of was in an unknown put a product and it was working quite good but so this is what I've been up to. Um, you can see that I've got that st stuff on the bonnet too. Um, just been sanding the tops of the doors where they're a bit sort of stone chip. Um, might do a wee bit more on the doors, the main surface of the doors, but we're not far away from ready to go. So we'll leave it at that and we'll get back to you later. Cheers.